and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Lauren and this is Jam. And in this video, we're going to show you how to travel Rome as cheap as possible. Remember to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to travel the world on a budget. outside the metro station and um, it's quite a common meeting point for most of the tours in the city it's very 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 busy and we've already been tried to be scammed about three times just walking down here you have to be really cautious of pickpockets and stuff yeah, literally like looking behind you at all times <laughs> hopefully when we get in the coliseum it won't be quite as intense but i've probably heard about Rome and all the scams and things like that but we are going to do a separate video on it um, because, yeah, we've already been hustled about three times and we've only been out about five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so stay well, tuned for that. <laughs> yeah, that's just Rome for you. So we've found a nice quiet spot, we can talk now, <laughs> out of the chaos. Um, it's actually at the minute on half capacity everywhere, so in the Colosseum and all the grounds around it. So we're quite lucky in a way, we've not had to queue for over an hour to get in. Our guys have got to do the average to get through all the parts and stuff with an hour waiting time, even with the skip the queue ticket. It was tiny queues though, really, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're quite lucky in that respect. Obviously you have to wear your mask on the inside, but that's you know it doesn't matter um so far it has been really rushed like i said we didn't get here well we did get here early yesterday but we just wanted to sleep because we've been up so early and traveling from denmark and all that um but from the airport we got a train to i can't remember what the station was one of the main stations and it cost eight euros each it was about 35 40 minutes and then we just walked there from where we were staying We'll show you where we stayed in a minute, we'll cut to that in a bit. Um, it's just a little apartment up in the little flat buildings, just outside of Rome. Well, it's still in Rome, but outside of the main area. It's just across the river, really, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a hell of a lot cheaper. I think it was only about 135, £140 pounds for three nights. So it's nothing really, we have our own kitchen and everything. It's a really nice little apartment. Um, we today, because we were in a bit of a rush this morning, because um, we had this tour and stuff, we did get a taxi. What was the taxi called? Uh, I'm not sure, but it was 12 euro total. And that was for about 16 minutes. Um, I'll just have a look what it's called. It's like Uber, but not Uber. It's their version of Uber, um, and it's everywhere. Free now, my taxi. There you go. So. <laughs> so if you download that before you come here, it's not expensive, really. And no, it's quite good, really. Yeah, and I know a lot of taxis here can charge you stupid amounts, so I wasn't even wanted to get a taxi at all, but when we saw that, I thought, well, to be fair with the train prices, that isn't too bad at all. So, yeah.
now in the centre. After here, we're going to go and see what the church is called. Uh, the Capuchin Monk Church. That's the one. <laughs> we're going to go and see them from here. Also, take a little stop off at Fendi. If you know I want to go there, you know. <laughs> Oh, we didn't mention we spent five pound on two bottles of water in the airport. That was in Copenhagen. Yeah. On these two bottles of water, may I add? No wonder we're keeping them. City <laughs> again, and now I can't walk down there because of how many people are trying to put bracelets on your wrist, trying to sell you stuff, not letting you pass. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Instantly, they're on you like a rash. And what they do is they put these bracelets on your hand, telling you that they're free, and then they'll charge you for them and will not let you leave. But they get very aggressive, very nasty, very angry. So, um, Got more looking at us, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. We're gonna walk the other way. <laughs> this is a lovely spot to have pictures on this very wall. Just Without the graffiti. Yeah, that will be edited out. <laughs> this is usually full of people, but we've sat here long enough now that it's actually cleared. <laughs> We've been harassed a bit there. Yes, there's a lot of people walking past. Buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. We're just ignoring them all. But there's someone coming up now with some phone charges again. One second. <laughs> We're off to Fendi. To see where Nikki signed her iconic 10 million deal with Fendi. <laughs> And I'm having that exact picture outside the doors. <laughs> also, this is the headquarters, so they've got an extremely expensive and amazing building in here in Rome. <laughs> a lot of construction going off at the minute. It seems to be in every like city centre yeah. at the moment though. Denmark, there was loads. Paris is all under construction at the moment as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's like nothing to see in Paris at the minute. It's all under scaffolding. Yeah, but you can look at the scaffolding. <laughs> Greece was a bit as well. Yeah. That's pretty. The sun's on it there. <laughs> so this isn't actually where Nikki stood on the picture. Um, it's at the headquarters, which is actually closer to where we're staying outside of Rome. I'm just going to triple check that we have to go up these. Yeah. So there was a rose guy and another guy trying to sell battery packs. So we filmed, put the camera on to start filming to show you how much they passed here. Come up here, both walk off. <laughs> Thank you. 
we've just come out of the Capuchin Monk Church. I think that's how you pronounce it. Very interesting. Definitely very interesting. It's £8.50 to get in each and I had to pay an extra euro to cover my shoulders. So they give you like a little fabric yeah. thing to put over your shoulders. It's not very big, you go for like a little museum first and you're not allowed to take any pictures in there at all. Um, we're going to try and attach some pictures on here like from what, what's already on Google. Um, if, if you don't like skeletons, don't go basically. Yes. There's hundreds of dead people in there. Bodies, skeletons. It is definitely worth the trip though. Yes, it's very interesting. You don't often get to see things like that, hence why I'm allowed to take pictures in there. Um, what it's I would it's say, sort of re out of respect as well. Yeah, that, definitely. So. so I would say it's definitely worth the visit. And it's only eight, eight euro fifty, so it's not a lot even to get in. Yeah, half the price of a meal really. So this is where we're staying. It is a little bit messy because we did get here last night. But it's just a little bed, little seating area, bathroom, TV, and a nice kitchen area, which we need to do the washing up because we've just had some pasta. Our typical meal for traveling. Yes, our go-to meal. And a tin of olives. And we're also start watching fresh meat. <laughs> In fact, it cost us £135 here for three nights, which is not too bad. And as you can see, like I said a minute ago, we have been cooking all of our meals, which has saved us a lot of money whilst being here in Rome. As you can imagine, it's very expensive, and so all the drinks and just everything is expensive. <laughs> so, yeah. We've had another lazy morning again this morning because it was raining a bit earlier. Um, but now we've decided to come out and we're going to get the bus into the centre today. Uh, we've just brought some tickets, you have to get them from shops or like from tobacco shops or alcoholic bars shop or bars. Cafes yeah. and so we've just gone and got some. They're €1.50 each, which is you know nothing really. We've been paying about £12 each in a taxi. We're at the bus station now, just waiting to see when our bus comes. And this is going to take us to Trevi Fountain. Got a quick coffee from McDonald's, of course. One pound fifty a coffee. Can't grumble with that. I've already Supporting had mine. Supporting local businesses. <laughs> I know, but you know when when the coffee shop next to it's selling them for five euro, and McDonald's is selling them for one euro fifty, you really cannot complain. It does add up. <laughs> and now I'm trying to find Trevi Fountain. Is that right, Trevi yeah, Fountain? I can hear it somewhere. Ah, found it. Of course we have, look at how busy it is. Oh wow. <laughs> oh yeah, look at all them. This is a pickpocketer's dream here. You've just seen how busy it is down there. Everyone distracted taking photos. Yeah. trying to get you to, to have a Fire picture with the them road, yeah and they're like oh well, it's free it's free it's definitely not free i don't know how much they're charging people but they charge an asian couple 30 euro for two polaroids a minute there ago. You go. and they're everywhere like i mean everywhere we've been hassled about well, at least 20 times since yeah. sitting here taking some photos um, and you're also not allowed to sit around the fountain, which I didn't know. So there's like four or five police here and they're blowing the whistle every time someone sits on the fountain. It sounds like you're at a swimming pool. It does. The lifeguard's just going off all the time. I don't know if that's a new thing or if that's just something they've started to do recently. Um, but they are not letting anyone sit on the fountain. In fact, the police are, we're actually, yeah, they're still behind us. <laughs> and they're on you like a rash. And another one coming. So yeah, very busy and like everything else, Scam Central. 
And pickpocket central. Yeah, you need to be wary about what you've got on you. Definitely. Don't bring here what you don't need because you probably won't be leaving with it. Oh, here we go, lot straight away. <laughs> Constantly, it's so annoying. You can't just sit and have a nice photo. Take another country off our list. Yeah, so we're going to step over the border and then come back. tickets to the museums you can't leave this like little this courtyard bit is it courtyard though it's a big, big courtyard, courtyard. <laughs> this section anyway i mean i might be wrong there's just a lot of fencing everywhere and the people who are on the other side of the fence are the ones going in and around the museums i did read online you're not allowed to go really go, the go around the centers and stuff yeah but this is the main part so that's all you really need to see anyway well unless you want to see the church and the roof and painting all that yeah but you're not interested in that, are you? <laughs> really my cup of tea. Right, we've just come from Trevi Fountain and it's taken us about half an hour to walk here, so not too bad. Google Maps does say about 45 minutes, but it's taking you right into the centre, which obviously you're not allowed to go to, so you do get to the border in about 30 minutes. It's quite an easy walk as well. There's no uphill Very or anything. It's just it's pretty much a straight road, really. You just follow the, um, don't tell me what the name is. That, what's it called, that river? I'm not sure, but... The Tiber. The Tiber, Tiber yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably worth a trip if you want to uh, get it ticked off your country. <laughs> Smallest country in the world. Yeah. Goodbye to our room in Rome. Going to try and catch the train. Well, try, hopefully catch the train. <laughs> the buses have been running a bit late since we've been here, so we're leaving two hours early to get to the train station. Uh, and we're heading off to Pompeii today. So, there's something happening over there with police and horses and lights. Some sort of parade. minutes already. Thankfully we've still got an hour till our train, which is another reason why you always leave about two hours early than what you actually need to leave. Although I'm actually thinking whether we're going to get there in the next hour or not. Sounds like this, yeah, got Thank 
plenty of time. Looked at the board, train's been cancelled. No idea what to do. Our app's not told us it's been cancelled. We're now waiting in a big queue for customer service. And it's moving incredibly slowly. But I love travelling. Get here early. 